there, I'm Marie from DIY Montreal, and today I'm going to show you how I built this bench from reclaimed wood using a solid core door just like this one. I'll also show you how I built these really cool trapezoid legs, and if you're interested in building it for yourself, there are free build plans available. Be sure to click in the description down below. So, want to see how I built it? Let's get started. So I have these old wooden doors in my garage. These doors were here when I bought the house a few years ago, but don't seem to belong anywhere in the house. Now my house was built in 1915, so these are solid core doors, and boy are they heavy. Unfortunately, the doors have been exposed to years of water damage and really aren't salvageable. As you can see, the wood is rotting in places and in really bad shape. I discovered by fluke one day that antique solid core doors aren't actually made up of large chunks of solid wood. The inside is actually kind of like a butcher block, and then wood veneer makes up the outer layer. Let's take this door apart and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I started cutting apart the door using my circular saw. I don't know if it's this old saw, or my blade, or just the thickness of the door, but this step was not as effortless as I had imagined. At this point, I could simply remove the trim and hammer loose the opposite side so I could remove the center panel. I then hacked away the remaining side until I got it free. After removing any leftover nails, I ran the boards through my planer to remove the outer veneer. It took several passes through the planer, and let me tell you, this is pretty rough on the motor and the blades to try and power through the veneer and the glue. I wasn't too worried though since this is my old planer that I bought a few years back and that I had kept for an occasion just like this. Eventually, after several passes, the inner core is revealed, a really cool butcher block, made from a few different wood species. This should make a pretty cool bench, I think. I cut my pieces to rough length using my miter saw and then squared up the ends of the smaller board using my crosscut sled. I then ran the boards through my joiner a few times to square up the long edges and prep for glue up. The last step before that is to trim off the opposite edge to make both edges parallel. All four edges should now be square and the opposing faces parallel to each other, which will make the glue up a lot easier. While the bench top was drying, I moved on to the legs. Since I'm planning to paint the legs black, I'm just going to use some leftover 2x4s I have on hand. I want to remove the rounded edges though, and make the boards nice and square with crisp edges, so I'm running them through my planer a few times on edge, then running them through again on face. You could also do this just by trimming off the edges using your table saw. Now this is my first time making trapezoid legs. The truth is that I made a resolution this year that I would try to include angles and curves in my builds, so here I am. To figure out the right angle, I sketched it out and calculated that the perfect angle should be 85 degrees. After trimming off one side of each piece, I used a stop block to cut the opposite sides of the boards. This way I could get repeated cuts at the exact same length. If you're wondering how to figure out the right measurements, I have free plans available with all the dimensions. Just look for the link to the plans in the description down below. If you've watched my videos before, by now you should know that I'm no expert. I'm just figuring things out as I go. So I'm not really sure about the next part. I'm going to assemble the legs using concealed screws and dowel plugs. I figured I should make a template in order to accurately drill the dowel holes and match the 85 degree angle. After that, I used a small cutoff to help drill some pilot holes. My goal here was to set it so the edge was perpendicular to the table, so I could then drill straight down. Not sure if this makes sense, but I hope so. With the pilot holes made, I could start assembling the legs. I used a clamp to hold the alignment while I screwed it together. Hmm, not bad for a first try. Next, I cut up some short dowel plugs and glued them into the holes to hide the screws.
After the glue dried, I used a flush cut pull saw to trim them down. I then used my orbital sander to get them perfectly flush. I gave the whole thing a good sanding before turning my attention back to the bench top. After the glue dried, I could remove the clamps and trim the bench top down to size while squaring up the edges. I used a T-square to mark a reference line that I used to clamp down a fence. I could then simply follow the fence to trim the edges with my circular saw. After sanding down the entire top and making sure to break the edges, it was time for finish. I went with a Danish oil clear coat finish to bring out the natural wood grain. Before applying finish to the legs, I drilled some countersunk screw holes which I'll use to attach the legs to the bench top. I then drilled the pilot hole for the screw. I wanted to make the hole elongated to allow for wood movement in the bench top. I'm sure there must be a better way of doing this, so please let me know how in the comments below. I wanted to give the legs the look of steel, so I finished them with a few coats of black spray paint. Once everything had dried, I marked out the location for the legs and dropped them into place. I then screwed them to the bench top using pocket hole screws coupled with a washer. Hey, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching, see you soon.